Hello all and welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to make this 2D model which you see right now on screen. And let's first start it with rectangle tool. So let's go to rectangle and snap to any point on the screen and make a rectangle with length 112 unit and width 88 units. You can write at the rate 88 to make that rectangle. Now go to circle and make a circle on that corner with a radius of 12 units. Now go to circle again make a circle with radius of 4 unit and select both the circles copy it to all the four corners of this rectangle okay like this now let's go to circle tool again and this time turn on this object snap tracking now don't click on that point go to that point and track it and you'll find this midpoint and click there and make a circle with a radius okay change it to diameter and make it a diameter of 19 units that would be better now pick that same center point again and this time enter a radius of 19 units again circle and this time a diameter of 88 units so now we have all the three circles here and we need to make one more so go to circle again and this time enter a diameter of 112 units okay so here we have all the circles completed now let's move on to next part of the drawing so shift right click and select tangent and after selecting line and click on these two points again shift right click tangent click on this circle shift right click tangent and click on this Make sure that you have selected line before applying this shift and right click and now delete this rectangle. Okay. Now let's go to tangent tangent radius and tangent 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 would be better. So click on these three circles and it will make a circle with the condition as stated on the screen. That is this circle is tangent on all the three circles which I have so, uh, shown on the screen. So now we have done most of the part of this drawing. Now only small thing remains that is a radius of 3, a circle of radius 3. So go to tangent tangent radius, click on that circle, this circle and enter radius of 3 units. So here is the circle. Go to that circle tangent tangent radius, again make that circle. Now let's trim all the remaining portions which we don't require. Okay, in this case, these two things. So now we have a clean geometry here. Now, select these two things, these two small arcs, make a mirror, select the center, and click anywhere upwards. Again, select these two arcs and these two arcs as well. And repeat the mirror command. Click on the center and horizontally click anywhere. Okay. So here we have all the arcs. Now we need to trim it to complete the geometry. And here it is. So we have our geometry complete. I hope you understand this. And as always, thanks for watching.